welcome to another episode of the Zalicious Cooking Series. Now we're about to kickstart the rice series edition and I'm about to show you how to make one very mouth-watering rice recipe. So today I'm going to show you how to make coconut vegetable rice. Before we begin, let me introduce you to the ingredients. For this recipe you'd need 3 cups of rice, 2 cups of coconut milk, 3 cups of chicken stock, 1 teaspoon of butter, 2 cooking spoons of coconut oil, 1 and a half cups of diced carrots, 1 medium sized onion bulb, 2 garlic cloves, 5 scotch bonnet peppers, half a cup of sweet corn, half a cup of green bell pepper, half a cup of red bell pepper, a quarter cup of chopped spring onions, half a teaspoon of curry powder, half a teaspoon of thyme, 2 seasoning cubes, 4 bay leaves, half a teaspoon of ground chili pepper and some salt to taste. So this coconut vegetable rice is a highly requested recipe from you all and I'm so excited that I finally come around showing you all how it is made. I have an amazing twist to mine and as always my recipes are very feel proof. So first of all I'm going to begin by toasting my rice. Now this is a new step that I'm introducing into rice making because it's one that I find to be absolutely amazing guys. It makes all of the difference when you toast your rice first before you cook it and it's a simple procedure it takes all of five to six minutes I'm going to start by throwing in some butter about one tablespoon of butter uh oh my butter is still a little bit hard <laughs> into my pot that I have set on medium heat and of course because this is coconut rice I'm also going to throw in a little bit of coconut oil just a little now toasting the rice is going to help brown the rice and it's going to lend amazing flavor even before we begin cooking the dish. So all I'm going to do is throw in my rice. Now the rice has already been thoroughly washed and I left it out to dry for about an hour um, so that it's, it's better when it's dry but you can use it when it's wet as well. It's going to make a lot of sizzle sounds. <laughs> so I'm just going to throw, in, throw it into the butter and coconut oil mixture and just stir it around. Just continue stirring until it's a little bit browned. I tell you guys, toasting your rice in some butter or oil makes all of the difference. You should try this step. But if you don't want to try out this step, or if you are not interested in this step, you can just skip to the next step, which I'll show you. Okay? So I'm toasting it on medium to high, high heat. And you just have to keep stirring continually so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot and burns. Okay? Okay, so guys, the rice is perfectly toasted now. See how it looks? It's browned up. Now I said this part is very important in lens flavor and it also helps take away um, some of the starchiness from the rice. So you won't end up with very gummy rice. But like I said, it's totally optional and you don't have to do it. And so if you're going to go through this entire process, it's going to smoke a bit in your kitchen. Don't be worried about it. It's just normal. Now the rice is perfectly coated with the butter flavor and the coconut oil flavor. It's time to proceed to the next step. So what I'm going to do now is throw in my coconut milk now this is the star of this dish in my opinion oh, that sizzle. <laughs> everything goes in and i'm also going to loosen it up slightly with some chicken stock i'll stir it all together to combine oh my goodness the aroma guys the aroma just hits my nose right now <laughs> smells so fantastic in here and then I'm going to proceed to throw in some bay leaves. Just about five bay leaves or so to lend more flavor. You know, I'm all about adding flavor to my dish. And then just a sprinkle of salt. And what I'm going to do next is just cover up my pot with foil paper. This is going to help trap all of the steam because I don't want to add extra liquid into this pot. And just cover it like so before placing the lid and ensuring that it, it doesn't catch fire <laughs> then I'm gonna reduce my heat to medium low because I don't want my rice to burn and then while that is cooking I'll just come over here and I'll start with the vegetable prep okay so I'm gonna start by throwing in some more butter into my pot that is already set on medium heat just a little more and I will also throw in some coconut oil this is coconut vegetable rice so it's just okay that we use some coconut oil as well not so much just a little to also help lend some flavor and I'll just let that melt together this is gonna be a very hearty dish guys 
super hearty 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 over here on my chopping board i already have some chopped onion some minced garlic and some chopped scotch bonnet pepper i'm going to start by throwing in all of the chopped onions just a little bit of the sizzle sound today uh oh some peppers got went in <laughs> so i'm just going to saute this for about 30 seconds I'm just stirring this around just to saute it. Next, I'm just going to throw in all of the minced garlic as well. I never cook anything without garlic. You guys already know that. And I will saute for a further 10 seconds. Aroma is all over the kitchen right now. <laughs> and I'll throw in the scotch bonnet pepper. Now, scotch bonnet peppers make all of the difference. This is also known as atarodo in Yoruba language. I'm filming from Lagos, Nigeria, just in case you're wondering. And this pepper makes all the difference in this dish or whatever dish it is you're creating. So I'm just going to add all of it. And of course, I like my food really hot and very spicy. So it's totally allowed. See how it already beautifies the dish. Okay. So that's done. Next, I'm going to throw in all of my diced carrots. This is a coconut vegetable rice. So it's just okay that we're using lots of vegetables for this dish. I'll saute this for a further one minute just to soften the carrots a little bit. It's so crunchy and very hard and I want to take out the hardness and a little bit of the crunch. Let's keep stirring this around. Okay, so it's time to bring in the rice now. Now you want your rice to be about 70% cooked not fully cooked remember it's going to complete the cooking process in here and then i'm just going to take out the bay leaf and what i'm going to do next is just bring it over here and transfer everything right into this pot that has the vegetable now guys the aroma of the toasted rice in some coconut milk cooked in some coconut milk and chicken stock is everything in the world oh my god it smells so nice so I'm just going to transfer everything right in here. Okay, so that's all the rice in. I'm just going to give it a stir. Look at the way it looks. The rice looks a little bit brown and it smells amazing. Like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to have a taste of this. And it's starting to come together really perfectly. We are obviously not done yet. I'm going to proceed to throw in some seasonings to further amplify the taste and increase the flavor. Over here I have thyme just gonna throw in some thyme i have some ground pepper here and here i have some curry powder be careful with the curry powder because you don't want to discolor the the rice okay here i have some seasoning cubes i'm using some chicken seasoning cubes for this and finally finally because some vegetables are still coming but finally for the seasonings I'm just gonna throw in a sprinkle of salt to further amplify the taste and give this another stir to combine it already looks so good just a bit what I'm going to do is just add half a cup of water just a little in fact less than half a cup just to further um, steam the rice and cook it completely and Always, I'm going to take out my foil paper just to trap the steam in there. Now, using foil paper actually helps you um, not use so much water, so much liquid, so that you don't end up with really soggy rice. Okay, I'm going to place that in there and then place the lid and reduce my heat to the lowest, to the lowest temperature. So I just allow the rice to steam up until it's very soft and tender. And while it is steaming up. I'm just gonna come over here and refresh myself with some cold Valletta sparkling for a drink. Okay, so guys, we have now arrived at the grand finale <laughs> of this coconut rice recipe. I tell you that if you follow the steps that I've shown you today on how to make this rice, I tell you this will be the best coconut rice you've ever made in your life. It smells divine and I can, you can see that the grains are standing apart. That's what toasting your rice actually helps, helps, helps do for you. Okay, so I'm going to just proceed to adding the remaining vegetables. Remember I said this is a vegetable rice. So I'm just going to throw in the green bell pepper. And be careful so that you don't um, 
the vegetables don't overshadow the star which is supposed to be the rice i have some sweet corn here as well I'm just gonna do them in bits so that and some spring onions and i'll just proceed to stir oh look at how colorful this is <laughs> i just proceed to stir together to combine everything this looks so amazing the color just everything just works everything just looks perfect and remember to steam your rice on very low heat i just like that the rice is standing apart just no gumminess no sticking and i didn't, I didn't even parboil it i didn't parboil it at all okay so i think we are as good as done my favorite part is when we're done cooking and then it's time to eat <laughs> but first let me taste it now i like to put my vegetables last so that i retain their um, it retains its vibrant colors and a little bit of the crown i really don't like it when um, the heat takes away all of the beauty of the colors i still like to see them like this because i mean you eat your vegetables raw anyway so why not eat it raw? this well the residual steam from the rice is actually going to cook it slightly but it's still going to maintain its nutrients and its beautiful colors so i can already tell that this is going to be so nice <laughs> i don't even need to taste it take me away <laughs> God, everything just works I tell, I tell you guys you would definitely really 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 come out with the perfect coconut vegetable rice if you try this recipe like I've shown you today so now you know how to make coconut vegetable rice you definitely would want to try this recipe for your family and friends I'm sure they're going to love it if you ever gonna recreate the recipe please kindly send me your creations on Instagram Twitter or Facebook I'm there as delicious foods I always always love to see your feedbacks and hear what you have to say about the dish and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet what are you waiting for hurry now and hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell just beside you so that you can get instantly notified whenever i upload a new video there's so many other videos to come up on the channel guys and you do not want to miss a thing i'll see you all next time okay take care